So, guess that answers the question if the school is important or not. Good morning, afternoon and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. Yes, I am once again. And welcome yet again to another Goal or No Goal Breakdown. So, if you're not familiar with this, I pretty much review this play because NHL review systems are so controversial these days that I try to have an unbiased opinion myself. I throw my name in there as somebody who's been on the receiving end of bad goal calls as a goaltender myself and somebody who's had to deal with making goal calls myself because I also referee minor hockey. So without further ado, let's get into this. So as we've already stated, Game is crucial right now. Uh, it's between two hotly contested teams, the New York Rangers and the Minnesota Wild. The Wild are leading 3-2 to two against the New York Rangers. This was also, subsequently enough, Henrik Lundqvist's retirement game. So you bet your ass that the New York Rangers want to win tonight's game. So, with the net empty, under 10 seconds to play, the Rangers would cycle the puck, would put the puck up from behind the net to the side of the net. It would go across the crease. Ryan Strom would get a we get a chance at as well as number sixty three nine three. I can't tell who it is to be honest. However, the more important point is that Ryan Strom will get involved in this play right there. Now, here's the important part at this, and I'm just rushing this half of the review because this is the worst camera angle. Okay, the Rangers, the puck is in at this point. The Rangers have their hand, their sticks up in the air. They just this is a celebration here. The referee doesn't make an initial movement. However, his first motion is no goal. That is very important because that sets the standard for what the on-ice call was. So if there's, like, when in doubt, if we went through all the evidence and we cannot decide one way or another, we revert back to the original call. And that's important because at the end of the day, we don't want to sit around for half an hour debating this. We would like to have it elite. We want to get the call right but we don't want to keep going back and forth where we're literally at a stalemate. So it's always key to look at what the initial call is. The initial call is no goal. So this needs to have concrete evidence to support the Rangers in for the goal to count. So let's go through this. So uh, also we have the initial uh, video in the description if you want to watch that at full time at uh, game speed. Worth noting though, I recommend not watching with uh, audio, at least one of your your watchers, because it is the Rangers audio. And no disrespect to the Rangers audio, however, whenever you watch uh, a replay, what'll end up happening is, is that no matter what, usually you'll have the commentators voicing not just what they think is happening, but also what they kind of want to happen. And that's normal, that happens with all announcers. Nobody's um, like safe from that type of bias, however, Sometimes uh, announcers are more understanding to their own players' mistakes than another team's mistakes in this play. So, important to note, Puck is pretty much around the play at this point. I believe this is where um, Ryan Strom has shot the puck on net. Yes, so the puck is going, went across the crease. Ryan Strom takes a shot at it. Cam Talbot makes the initial save. So, if we keep this going here, the puck is now under Cam Talbot. Important to note, it is not covered at this point. There's no coverage. However, here's the interesting thing. So Ryan Strom tries to get the puck and the puck is just outside of Cam Talbot. So if his pad is here, puck is here, that's fine. Cam Talbot does a good job to put his foot on the post to try to block out any chances of a jam play. Ryan Strom gets his stick caught on Cam Talbot's foot and then this is where it really gets kind of dicey. So the puck is loose. This is, and the key part in here is that Cam Talbot sees the puck is loose. Ryan Strom sees the puck is loose. And there's another ranger stick involved that also knows the puck is loose. At this point, the Minnesota defender, we can just forget about him because he does nothing on this play to help his goaltender out in any way, shape, or form. Um, in Cal Cam Talbot's mind, He's not, he doesn't know the time, so he doesn't know that he can probably just close off any spot here and just call it out. His mind, he needs to get the cover. And in Ryan Strom's mind, he needs to get the puck. So Ryan Strom dives, lunges forward. Um, and unfortunately, this is where we have our two decisions, okay? 
So there's one way that we can look at this and another way we can look at this. Cam Tal the first way is this. Cam Talbot moves his foot backwards so he can reach over his pad to cover the puck. And that's, as you can see here, because Cam Talbot is lunging towards it. And even on the continuation of the play, he's still lunging towards the puck. The other way we can look at this is that Reinstrom has pushed the toe of Cam Talbot's pad into the net, into the, into the net, forcing Cam Talbot to sprawl forward. That's the thing, that's the main argument here for both sides is either Cam Talbot willingly lunges towards the puck or Strom takes his foot out. Here's the problem. I believe that Cam Talbot lunges forward towards this puck. However, there's no way of proving that it that his foot wouldn't have just stayed where it was had it not been for Strom pushing on it. So there's a likelihood where he can just lunge for the puck like this without moving his foot. And the NHL knows that. And they also see the fact that the main force of contact that is pushing Cam Talbot backwards and giving an opening for the Rangers to score this goal, which the puck, as you would see from these next two shots, would go across the line, is due to Ryan Strom pushing on Cam Talbot's pad without any use of the puck being there. So at the end of the day, I would say no goal. And the main fact is, is that this is very close. And you can argue that Cam Talbot releases his leg to get a better angle to cover the puck. However, the problem is, is you cannot prove that he wouldn't just have wanted to keep his legs steady anyway. Had Reinstrom not been here and he just moved his pad out, we would have concrete evidence that the Granger's goal should be fine. However, the fact that his foot, his stick blade is in the foot area of Cam Talbot and pushes him into the net, it has to be no goal because you just can't take that chance, especially when you're giving goaltenders a certain understanding, especially when they're in their net. So yeah. I know Rangers fan. I know a lot of Rangers fans, and I know this one might not be very popular, but I, I have to say it's no goal. And also, it would have to overturn the call. Yes, the ice. and the main, yeah, exactly. You have to overturn an already disallowed goal call, which is very tough to do, especially in a controversial fashion like this. So I hope you guys, at the very least, maybe you might not have agree agree with me on this call, but I hope you understand my my um, reasoning towards why I would say this is no goal. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please feel free to subscribe because we really would appreciate it. We just passed 700. Thank you so much to everybody. Uh, we're hoping to hit 750 maybe by in the next month or so. Um, our ultimate goal is, of course, 1,000. Uh, don't forget to leave a like on this video because it really does help us out. Uh, comment down below. What do you think? Is this a goal or is this not a goal? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.